Okay, let's go ahead and find the difference between 4 and negative 6. And at first glance, this is a pretty easy problem. A lot of you are going to be like, oh, this is easy. I can do this without a calculator. I could just do this in my brain. And if that's the case, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. But just don't guess. That's what I uh, you know, always suggest to you out there. Because if you get this right, but if you weren't really sure why you got it right, well, that's really... You know, this you just got lucky. We don't want to have anyone just be lucky uh, in terms of mathematics. There's too many things that go wrong. But you'll be surprised. A lot of people are going to get this incorrect, primarily because they're not really sure what this word means. They think they know what the difference is, but actually there's a very uh, specific definition for this word. And, of course, we're going to cover this in a second. So that's the first reason that people are not going to get this correct. And the second reason is, of course, anytime you involve positive and negative numbers, uh, students who, do, who really haven't taken the time to master both positive and negative numbers are going to get in trouble as well. So, uh, of course, I'm going to cover this nice little easy problem. But again, just because things are simple okay, and easy in mathematics doesn't mean that everyone uh, gets these foundational concepts down. But we're going to review this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, everyone can do very well in mathematics if they want to. But it uh, really requires two things. One, you got to be willing to work hard. So if you're not going to work hard, you know, in terms of studying, taking notes, doing all your homework, et cetera, well, then, you know, it's tough to, you know, do well in anything you're not going to work hard in. But the second thing you need is great math instruction, clear and understandable. That's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it uh, in the description of this video. Also, I have a ton of test prep courses. So if you um, are studying anything that has a math section on it in terms of, uh, let's say, for example, the GED, SAT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, I can help you out. If you homeschool, I have excellent middle and high school level math courses for homeschoolers. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that helps me out as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this. And really what we're talking about is the topic of number operations, okay? And this is basic stuff that you start learning, you know, in elementary school, and it just this continues on in middle school. But what is a number operation? Well, let's take two numbers. Let's say two and seven. And what can we do with these two numbers? Well, we could add them, okay? Well, this little thing right here, this symbol is a mathematical operator, Okay, it is a number operator, a mathematical operator, and we have others, right? So we have the addition symbol here, we have subtraction, we have multiplication, and we have division. So these are all mathematical operators that involve, obviously, uh, working with numbers, okay? Now, you know, when you study this in, like, uh, elementary school and middle school, we learn how to add numbers, we learn how to subtract numbers and multiply and divide numbers. So you learn all these procedures and you practice these skills. But along with these mathematical uh, operators, these number operations, there are specific little words that kind of go along with them. Okay, so the result of adding numbers is something called the sum. Okay, the result of subtraction is something called the difference. The result of multiplying numbers is something called the product. And then the result of division is something called the quotient. And there's very specific definitions that go along with these, and it's important that you have a really strong uh, grasp of what they mean. And of course, we're going to be focusing in on the difference. So let's take a look at the definition of the difference, and that is the difference of x and y, some number x and another number y, is x minus y. Okay, so that is the definition. So when you see something written verbally, okay, the difference of uh, some number and another number, but that means uh, x minus y. Okay, it's the first number. Okay, you're going to write that first, and then that's going to be subtracted by that second number. Let's take a look at an example here to see exactly how this works. Okay, so here is the definition. The difference of x minus y is x minus y. Okay, so when you have a uh, a written sentence or verbal sentence like this, it's translated this way, okay? So x minus y, when we have the subtraction operation, we're finding the difference of x and y. 
So now we can apply that to our problem, and we have the difference of 4 and negative 6. Okay, so we could just kind of match up right here. So 4 is the first number, and negative 6 is the second number. So uh, the result of 4, the difference of 4 and negative 6 is going to be um, x minus y. Now, what would that be? Now, you can see here I, I haven't written the actual answer because I want you to think about it. Okay, what's this going to, what's the result of uh, this going to be by following this definition? So a lot of students are going to be, well, that'll be 4 minus 6. Okay, because this has, for some reason, when there's a subtraction sign involved, a lot of students think they don't have to write this negative because this already has a negative. So if you wrote this, well, you're in good company. Unfortunately, that's incorrect. The correct answer is 4 minus, okay, because 4 is our first number, okay, and remember x is our first number here, so 4 is our first number. That goes first, okay, so we're going to write that first, then we're going to write a minus sign, there's our minus sign, and then our second number is y, okay, we're going to write that, but what is y in this case? It's negative 6, so this is going to be 4 minus a negative 6. So always put those in parentheses just like that. So 4 minus a minus 6. That is the difference between 4 and negative 6. And now what we have to do is figure out what this is right here. So let's go ahead and do that now. So the difference between 4 and negative 6, again, that's going to be 4 minus a minus 6. And of course, a negative of a negative is positive. So now I have 4 plus 6, which is 10. Okay, we can see this um, graphically here, the difference or the distance between 4 and negative 6 on the number line would be 10, right? So I can count this would be 4, and then go in this direction over to negative 6, that would be another 6. So you're thinking in terms of like absolute value here. So the difference between 4 and negative 6 is 10. And if you got that right, well, then I must go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face and A+. Plus a 120% and give you multiple stars for being such an awesome math student. Now, if you got this uh, incorrect, let's take a look at some answers that uh, some students uh, probably came up with. Okay, let me go ahead and just erase this real quick. And if you got these, uh, don't feel too bad. Okay, you just recognize your, your error. So um, a lot of students will be, oh, four, the difference between four and negative six, they'll, uh, they would have they wrote the they would have flipped the order here, okay? So it would have been negative 6 minus 4, which is negative 10. Okay, that's close, but that's incorrect. It's not negative 10. The answer is positive 10. Or they would have uh, done uh, 4 minus 6, which is negative 2. Okay, we already kind of discussed that. So other answers that you might have um, come out with, um, again, just because you have two numbers, you're like, well, let me just manipulate these numbers in some way, and hopefully, you know, I'm doing subtraction, so maybe I'll get the right answer. Again, the difference has a very specific order, very specific definition. And uh, this is, you know, oftentimes confused by a lot of students, especially students taking algebra or beyond, because it seems too basic. You're like, oh, I already learned all this stuff. Well, this basic math is uh, oftentimes we, we haven't really learned the fundamentals as strong as we um, needed to the first time around. That's why it's, it's important for uh, teachers and various math courses to continue to review. So don't feel bad that you don't remember all this, but it's important that you do know it, okay? All right, so hopefully this video helped you out. And again, if that's the case, go ahead and consider liking it and subscribing to my channel. If you need um, help with basic math, I have two courses I'm gonna recommend. Uh, in my math help program. One, my math foundations course covers all the basics like an elementary uh, school. So that's one course. And then another course you might want to consider is pre-algebra. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.